Welcome friends to another Fire Emblem Heroes video. I'm your host Indulger. This is Eat the Rage week 67 day one. We've got a new band of heroes next week. Ooh, look at that Alm. Look at that Alm and Thrasir here. Ooh, that's gonna be an awful two weeks, that's for sure. Ooh, especially with Alm being the bonus unit. Uh, the bon having the bonus season next week. Yikes. All right, but before we talk about next week, let's talk about this week. We've got two folks to go over today, as per usual, here on the channel. If you want to be part of my mock battle series where I fight folks season by season, day by day, and give you some feedback and some entertainment value, see if you can beat me. Yeah, I win most of the time. All right, we've got I Am Speed. Two new folks today. I Am Speed and Reich Ether. Let's start here. All right, I am speed. You go against a lot of my core principles here that I talk about all the time. Not having a wall and a garbage dump and all of the traps in the front and giving me free ether. But it's not a bad team. I Actually, you got a lot going for you here. I mean, you, you do have built-in inventory poles and you like your Marissa. That is some... That is some fandom for Marissa. Wow, I just think of all the infantry pulse that died for that. All the grails. It makes me sad. But I hope you like her. Sonya is my favorite. I have a Sonya. I have a plus attack Sonya. Fury's not bad. Fury actually gives her some bulk. You could probably do a little better than attack three, and I'm not a big fan of ploys, especially on defense. You could do, what could you do on her? On her C skill. I don't even remember what mine is. What do I do on mine? I don't know. I don't remember. So it's a good core. I, I, this is like one third of my core. I like what you've done with this air. You got a wind sweep. And then Micaiah can have some ground orders. And I'm not, again, I'm not a big fan on these S slots. You can do a little better than res three. Maybe throw some chills in there or something. And then it's pretty good. Hardy bearing, plus one, life and death. That's a good skill for her, for her, and that is an enormous amount of HP. Now, what I don't like, let me go, we, I'll come back to this. Just, I don't like this for several reasons. Number one, you don't need to do it. I mean, I guess your rationale is make them enemy phase it so they can't play or phase it. But you're, you're opening up vantage strats. One of these is a trap, so you don't have a rally on you, so I don't see a way that the... That the Hardy Bearing unit could get involved to stop this. I guess it's possible. Wings of Mercy got damaged. I guess it's possible Ophelia could come over here. But you're just giving too many options to the end user here. And I especially don't like... I mean, maybe you're just being a nice person. You're just being a nice person. You get the ether. If you can beat me, you beat me. I respect that, but... I see no reason not to just put this ether up in this corner. Or put this ether up in this corner. I mean, you tell me the rationale of why you want to do this. I really am curious why people really love partitioning their forces. So, let me show you what happens. Uh, I can just test this trap. If it's the trap, no big deal. It's right in front of me, so I can heal. If it's not the trap, so let's rock and roll. I like this wind sweep air, so she's gonna cause some problems. But she's not going to be strong enough to do much. Yes. I'm just going to hang out here. We know what the traps are. And it becomes a... Can I tank it? Going to have to waste the dancer. She's going to go again. You can get a reposition here. Now, if you didn't do a reposition here, it's not a bad idea. It gets stuck. Sonya's not strong enough to beat me, and there's a ground order, so I have to take a Sonya, two heirs, and an Ophelia. But have you, have you met Ike? Ike's pretty good. <laughs> so I can take that. So, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. I have to take two heirs, a Sonya hit, and an Ophelia to survive that. Maybe folks don't survive it too often, but if I can survive it, it's game over. It's, it's literally over. There's no second wave. That's it. I don't, I don't have to do anything. I just wait here. I've got the ether. Heal up. This time we'll bait Micaiah. Next? 
Nobody's got Wings of Mercy. There is a ground orders in play, but you're not giving it to anybody that matters, so... Pretty sure I can safely just move up. Bait the Micaiah. Oh, okay, she didn't want to get baited. Uh-huh. Yes. Let's play with Marissa, Let's see what she's got going on here. Without a Gale Force or a Dancer, I, I should be in okay shape here. There's a Lava Flow so you can't hit me. No Wings of Mercy. Can you do it, Ike? Can you take some reds? Wind Sweep's not going to do much. <laughs> Micaiah just does not want to die today. Nope. She does not want to die. I'm going to make her die. And that's all she wrote. So if you can tank it, it's just a pretty straight clear. I can give you some tips. Just open up that... Open it up. If you open it up, then I'm at least nervous about turn two and turn three. If you don't, I can just prep and I can get three buffers there. Just goes against the gospel of indulgers tanking strategies. But anyway, thanks, I am speed. Let's go next to Reich Ether. I'm gonna try my best to to beat this. I actually haven't introduced this week's team. Ike's here. He's plus four. He hasn't changed. You know what has changed? <laughs> Air's changed. She's plus five. What? How'd that happen? Well, I took two plus eight, two plus two airs. They had a baby, and we named it Air. Oh, isn't that nice? And it's just my neutral air. So what that did uh, is I've downgraded this second one, so she's just got to stay away from trouble. And then Harz here actually re-blessed him to light blessing. I did go nuts on, with Har when he first came out, so ah, it's fine. We'll give him the light bless. He was wind blessed at some point. Gave him a little bit more stuff. I gave him death blow, reposition, some ward flyers for the heirs because we're losing out on the ability to get death tactic. I forgot. I was I planned the whole week around Roy. We'll see him in a minute when I go through the full team. But I forgot that uh, Roy uh, makes it three infantry, and then ta uh, the tactics start working. Okay, I've got a solution here, and I really, 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 really want to do it. So let me see if I can remember what to do. Because we've got a mini fireball core with three. Count them, three sturdy impacts. One, two, three. You really don't like Tiburn, I guess. Plus 10, Flora. Plus 10, Micaiah. Holy moly. Wow. I'm going to show a very easy, easy quotation marks. Baiting strategy. Well, that's not going to work. I guess maybe it'll work. Eh, it doesn't feel like it's the right path, but we'll try it. What I need to do is I need to... Have an air, just take one for the team. And it just has to be the absolute correct order of operations here. I have forgot it. I'll give it maybe a couple attempts. Yep, yeah, you've got some ward stacking. Ward. No ward. No ward. So. If you had one more ward here, this wouldn't work. Yes. Why am I being debuffed so badly? Both of you are getting minus six because of what? You? Is it is Yoon whispering in my ear? Yeah. Okay. Let's try that. This doesn't feel right. <laughs> I think Har needs to be over here somewhere. No, that's definitely not right. I just left... Air. Why did I leave air completely vulnerable? Say, that's what happens when I screw up. I knew it was going to happen. I wish I had a photographic memory. I was so happy. I just actually cleared this for the first time. I very rarely use a hit-and-run strategy. So 
I really want to beat this. This doesn't feel right either, guys. I have to get in position on turn three, otherwise this doesn't work. I think Ike's too far away. Ike, no! Doesn't seem for thrilling television here. Maybe this will work? No, that Eris just got to get out of the way. Because then you get hit there. All right, last try. God, how do I get you up there? <laughs> you think I practiced this? Uh... All right, basically we need to have, the final position needs to be Ike, Air, Lucina, Air. Car in there somewhere. I don't want to get hit by that. I feel like if I had Har over in the corner... Uh, okay, okay, maybe Ike doesn't need to be Har here. Har needs to be here. Yeah, but now Lucina's out of position. Yeah, it's... Maybe this will work? Let's try it. You have got to go. If the dancer doesn't go, we're going to get harsh commanded to death. So, bye Azura. Bye Yoon. Bye, Shigure. Bye, Makaya. We did it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, and I'm hoping Lucina can deal with Flora by herself. All right. Yes. We did it. Thanks, Reich. So that's a strategy I never use. Hit and run. It occasionally works, but as you can see, it took me many iterations to figure out what I needed to do. Basically, I just needed to get Ike to the side. I actually didn't even need Lucina's help, but it's very important. I need, like, triple reposition to get that to work correctly, and there you have it. All right, let's watch some defense. It's been a good, it's been a good few weeks. Day one's not been too bad. Let's meet the defense team. No major changes, so I won't spend a lot of time on it. My defense team on Dark includes a bunch of Dark heroes and a Sothis for scoring. This scores, what is it score? 55, 50, something like that. So all I need is one or two kills, and I'm I'm pretty good to go. We've got Ninian. We've got Infantry Pulse. The thing I hate so much, I went to the Dark side many moons ago, and it's worked out okay. This doesn't work out too great on day six and seven so i might need to have a secondary team that works a little better against whales and dolphins or maybe just a pure scoring team to make sure i don't lose so much more any more points but all right a cane tanking team has never really worked out well and uh, especially with cane on light okay well it's a pretty good mixed bulk
But they've activated my trap card. Almost everybody in their brother puts a bolt tower here or here. So that's going to guarantee I get my vantage off with Sothis. They can't stop it. You either have to go fast, or you're going to have to deal with this Dragon Fang Brazen. This is something you never do. All right, so we're going to see what happens. You, you just never get into the belly of an Infantry Pulse team when you've got at least one Dancer left. Why? Well, because, because this. One potato... Two potato, three potato, Xander. All right, there we go. To make matters worse, Ninian cripples the air enough to have her damage to the point where... Oh, that's another bad idea. Don't do that. What turn was it? You had plenty of time. You didn't need to step on the trap because that just happened... Kane can't even finish Sonya because she's a champion with a duck on her head. She clears it out completely. Beautiful. All right, we'll get to the offensive action here in a second. Let's summon some stuff. I have been on a roll, guys. I've got a free Micaiah. I've got a Lissa, two Ossians, an Ephraim. That's five, five five-star pulls, free pulls in the last week. <laughs> That's insane. Can the trend continue? Well, thanks to IS's uh, hero path, or whatever that was called, we got a free Erica. We don't need her. I wouldn't mind a better um, Ephraim. It got enough nerves. I don't actually have a preference for this. We'll just see what we get. Green. Green it is. When in doubt, go green. It's never really failed me. Oh, you tell me there's a Murr coming right now? That's another five star? Oh. Gunther, when are you getting a refine, dude? They gave Jacob a refine. Are you like bottom of the barrel in terms of like unit now? Like. Poor Gunther, dude. Falling down holes and crap. Isn't that what he was? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. All right going to do this one uh, on Thursday, so stay tuned for that, along with this as well, as soon as I get all the tickets ready to go. So was that the last one? Is there anything else to summon today? There is not, so we'll end it there. Let's fight. Let's meet this week's team. Z got Ike, plus four, I already mentioned this. Air has... This is going to give me a few more points. I need all the points I can get for light. We can make zero mistakes to try to get any chance of having top 1,000. Zero mistakes. I actually really should merge some more airs. I, I merged this air for two reasons. Yes, for scoring, but then Molnir Strike is just, it's very necessary to rank up and have a high, highly merged mythics, a mythic unit. Har's here because I like Har and because Roy ruined my day. I had Roy all ready to go as the bonus unit. I was excited about what he was going to provide with human virtue. I getting some speed. Yeah, yeah, boy. And then didn't fit with my, with my tactics. So, you know, what are you going to do? Loki's making her debut on light. I pulled her last legendary banner with leaf. I need to play around with this. I want to see if I can maybe beat a mock battle with it. Before I feel comfortable bringing it into a fight. She acts a lot like Fjorm. Uh, if I ever want to go heavy red, and I feel confident in my boy, this is a mini vantage team. I've got fierce stance. I've got some buffing. I've got some bonus doubling. I've got some bonus doubling too with Caden, and then a Lucina here. So basically, Roy takes the spot of Selkie. This is the team I had for Selkie. Roy again, same thing, a little bit more speed this time. Triple Mythic because we can, because it's the bonus unit. And then finally, Surter's here. And there you go. So all five teams score the same. If it all goes well, we're just going to use Team 1. Ah, I don't like Nicellas. I don't like Plus 10 Nicellas. I don't like Gale Force Nicellas. That means Tiburn's lurking around here too. I don't like Tiburn's. <laughs> it's always here. <laughs> He's always here. Okay. Two Gale Forces. Well, here's something I see. 
I see a blast zone here for all the beasts, and I see a very easily destroyed healing tower with some walls. No ranged units. No bonus structure. I wonder if Roy could do this. I wonder if we just popped a Roy right here, buffed him up. Caden, Lucina, could he handle this? That's a lot of speed. That's a lot of speed. All right. I'm not going to get cute. I'm just going to go team one. Eric's going to have to go scout. Can I do this? Turn one. It's possible if I could somehow break that. His range is gonna be one, two, three here. Okay, Renolf is here as well. So one, two, three. No, I don't, I don't think it's possible. Could reposition. If someone could break that, you know, hold on. I could reposition. That puts Har out of the way, and then I could reposition air to where this air is, and then move up. No, because Har will be in the way then. So I'd have to get you out of the way, and then I've lost all my people. I'm not ready to give up on this, though. I want to see if I can do it turn one. Can I? I need to basically break this structure with a different unit. Let's say you do it. Yes. Yes. Har could break this, Air could break this, and then Ike gets shoved. Nah, it just doesn't work unless there's a smite involved. What if I use smite? Sorry, I know this is pretty boring, but I'm just curious if this can work. I feel like something's here, and I just don't see it immediately. Really, the only way it's going to work is a reposition from a flyer here, because there's no space that I could... Even if I smited someone here, it's not available. So this is really the only thing I can do. Reposition. And someone's got to break this... Stupid foreboding lizard. All right, that's our band name. I don't see it. The hell with it. We'll just get going. All right. The glimmer of life. Death's caress. Orders. No one's doing anything stupid, are you? I don't see any restore traps or dancers or anything like that. Actually, we're ready to go. But why would I want to go? I want them damaged. So we need to wait till turn three anyway. Probably should have seen which air I wanted to... Okay, good. I just want defensive air. These are all defensive units. Break that healing tower. We might run out of time. I guess Racing's just gonna have to hit air, and he's getting a lot of speed. <laughs> no, why would you do that? That's 51 speed. This air is gonna get 55. Is anybody running chill speed? Not really. No. So I don't really want to leave racing alone. 
It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to get that ether. Maybe we should just go now. Because Tiburn. Tiburn. <laughs> you little bastard. It's a plus 10. Someone loves their beasts and they don't love putting their fortress on. That's a little weird. I'm gonna hold back and just wait. Because I. This is scary. <laughs> This is pretty scary. I'm gonna smite up and break that thing. Maybe I should smite with Lucina. Ending my turn. Will I kill everything? Is that something that will happen? Not if I don't go too deep. I will kill everything, I think. If I go too far and go after the cane, boom, 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 all dead. Any any rallying. Eh, okay, there's the harsh commands. I sure hope someone's gonna harsh command somewhere. You'll harsh command, okay. I'm willing to roll the dice on day one of destroying the whole team. Why not? Now, do I want to go so deep where I actually try to hit the cane and then maybe leave the back door open? No. There's no... Ah, there is a lunge. You're not surviving this, though, bud. You're not going to. You're going to get a little bit of healing from racing, but not enough to matter. Understood. Your orders. Let's Ike it up. She just got to survive the Nysala. I'm pretty sure I can do 11 damage to Tibburn. I hope so. 18 damage to Tipper. What if I'm wrong? What if I'm wrong? Yes. There's no range, folks, so... If this fails, I just give up. And I want to break this, but I also am scared. If I break it and it fails and somehow Tiburon gets a Gale Force off and I don't kill him, well, I've lost. So I'm just going to be a baby, step back, and watch the fireworks. Here's the seven healing from racing. I always forget that part. Got an ether off, so that helps. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. All right, so... I didn't kill them all because I stayed here. If I would have been here, I would have got them all. The glimmer of life. Mordecai, you've been gimped. You got no speed. 59 attack. Do I have enough to survive? Not that air. That's 53. You gotta get away from you. Air's got this one. Yes. Just smite Ike up there. We'll get that one. Understood. You've got reposition on you, right, buddy? I'm counting on you, Har. Right, he can beat up Mordecai. And we'll call it a fight. <laughs> you would have told me I had to fight a plus 10 Tiburn. And a plus 10 Nysala on day one? I would have called you crazy. But they did set their structure. And they got a level one, very easily baitable healing tower. You can't do that. You can't you can't do that and expect to win? Come on now. You think I'm some sort of amateur on this either race? Come on. Thanks for watching, guys. That's all I got. Be back again for day two. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I've got my 1,000 subscriber video lined up. I'm building it now. I'm awful at editing stuff, so I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be a little different theme. It's not particularly Fire Emblem related, but the faster you get it, meet at 1,000, the faster i got to pick up the pace and actually get this thing cranked out.
So that's all I got. Bye, guys.